everybody, it's Alexa, and you know how I love projects that cost zero dollars? Well, I turned a bookshelf that I had tried to give away for free, nobody would take it. I turned that into this counter for the formerly stacking washer and dryer. So stick around and watch me build this project, and later I'll do a video on how I turned this into a really cute little laundry room area. So this is my laundry room reorganization attempt number one. We moved the washer and dryer to the left, and I put a lot of crap, and as my son said, all that's missing now is a homeless guy. So we're gonna try the other way, which is to take the washer and dryer uh, off stacking and try to put something over the top of them, which also takes advantage of that nice sunken light that we have up there. Finally got the washer and dryer separated. Lose the flies, you can see a lot of flies in here, always are. So what I'm gonna do now is disassemble this bookshelf. Also this really cute, sewing table was something that I found on the street. It needs a fair amount of repair. I sort of feel like it'd be nice to actually get a good sewing machine for once in my life. The idea is to disassemble this shelf so it's mostly uh, screwed together. So I'm going to start to unscrew this because the sides are going to be the structural portions of this counter that goes over. And then this nice backing, look how pretty that is. So that's going to be the top of the counter. At least this is the current goal. We shall see. I know it has to be structural. Okay, so I'm gonna disassemble this, and now that I've turned it on its back, I can see how these shelves are made. They've got these sunken uh, screws to hold them together. The reason why it's kind of dirty like this is because when we cleaned out the basement, or when I cleaned out the basement, um, and put everything out on my spectacular free day, um, I put this out, and this was the one thing nobody took. I mean, it's pretty big. I left it out there for a couple weeks while it rained, and then finally put it back in the basement. Okay, I got the back off this thing, which turns out to be rather better made than I thought it was. And here is uh, the full piece. Obviously, this is too wide, but I will want it on one side to go back to the wall. On the other side, it has to, um, I'll probably make it curve around that pipe. That'll, look, that'll be kind of nice. Okay, before I cut the counter veneer to the right size, um, I have measured uh, the sides there, and that needs to be um, 35 and a half inches tall on the on the washer side since it doesn't have a top on it I'm gonna have to kind of shim it and hopefully make it look attractive the other alternative is to remove that top from the dryer but um, I'm not sure exactly how to do that so I'll just leave it there and it's so easy to work right now because all my tools are right there in my scary basement okay this is cool we're really starting to disassemble this guy this is all that's left of this bookshelf and I feel the possibility shaping up. So you can see how these would come together. What I'll do is I'll box in the washer, at least from the front. I might have to, I'll put another piece back here for support, but I won't have to create the support on the sides. I'll just rest it on there. But the front part will be screwed together, these pieces. And then what I have to do is I have to remove these brackets. So I'm gonna remove these and I will probably screw them over here or something just to have them saved. Okay, so this is really coming together. I just cut this top to fit. Actually, I realized um, I wanna cut this, uh, this right edge because it's kinda ugly. So, so actually, I might have to widen this hole a little bit, although there might be, there might be some wiggle room. So we'll see. Um, and then I have to figure out, nothing is screwed together, either. everything's just sitting in place. Man, am I excited. This is something that I've been staring at for a couple months. Okay, so none of this is attached. Everything just cut and I'm just continuing to play around with um, the placement and how to hide the water heater. Okay, here's the current status. And I'm getting to a natural breaking point. I'm kind of tired, but I've used all the materials that I have pretty much. So this is where it stands so far. So this is where I'm leaving it today. I've pretty much spent the whole entire day working on this. Kind of decorated it up. Also kind of to distract from some of the shoddiness of what I did. I took this lamp down from my office and also that was in the bathroom, the washboard. And I thought, well, let's have a, let's shed some light on the situation. And also just, you know, give it some more whimsy. Um, yeah, and I, I like that, that looks sweet.
enjoyed this little tutorial on how I made this laundry center. I just love how it turned out. And I loved, again, repurposing something that cost me nothing. So I looked at it for a long time and I knew it could turn into something uh, better than that old bookshelf. And sure enough, I had the raw materials to make this. So let me know what kinds of projects you have succeeded in doing, how you've changed trash into some kind of other treasure. And we'll inspire each other. Thanks for watching and please comment and subscribe. Bye.